Hey guys, this is the YouTube version uh, of my show. I don't love the idea of even putting it out like this, but I'm going to use YouTube to stay in touch with you guys from now on. That means this version is missing all the stories about coronavirus, insurrection, your Second Amendment rights, and more. All of these, of course, are usually my most honest, brutal, and important stories. Anyway, you can uh, get the entire unfiltered and uncensored show for free by going to thecomicsgym.com or nickdip.com. It's still free on both of these sites, too. Uh, and if you want extra content each day, join at patreon.com or thecomicsgym.com for the daily Encore show. Also, while you're uh, on these sites, please make a contribution to keep this show free and check out my tour dates. I'll be in Phoenix, uh, Raleigh, New York, and Texas in the up and coming months. Remember, uh, you guys keep thinking it, I'll keep saying it, and please enjoy and please share today's episode. Talk to you soon. In 2022, nearly everything you see and hear is filtered. Social media companies are deleting ideas they disagree with. Uh, the mainstream media is reporting only what fits their agenda. And our so-called leaders are using them both to fight personal battles, oftentimes leveraging your livelihood and safety in the process. Just like you, I've had enough, and that's why I created this show. Here you get unfiltered and unapologetic content. I don't care if I hurt your feelings or if I take a position that isn't popular. I call them like I see them. I'd like to ask you to do two things to keep this show going. First, please share it with two people today. Let's show them what brutal honesty looks and sounds like. And second, please go to nickdip.com and make a contribution so we can keep this show going. Or even better, subscribe at the Comics Gym or on Patreon today and get an extra encore show each day, discounts on merchandise, and more for being a monthly subscriber. Thank you guys so much for watching, sharing, and contributing to the best show around. You guys make it happen. Thanks so much. the show on a Monday. How are you, folks? Oh, I feel good. Uh, let's get to a little bit of political shit before we bring Owen in in a, in a few. Um, Trump defends immigration proposal against amnesty criticism from conservatives. Trump early Sunday sought to sell his new immigration proposal, which includes funding for a wall along the southern border and extended protection of a certain immigrant groups. Amish, Polish, and Irish, amid pushback from uh, Democrats and hardline conservatives in a series of tweets. Trump chastised Democrats for dismissing his plan and attempted to assuage immigration hardliners who liken the administration's latest proposal to amnesty for immigrants already in the country. Like, he can't win. He can't win with the goddamn hardcore uh, conservatives and the Republican Party. And of course, every Democrat has done everything they could to fuck up his life since he took over. Um... Here is uh, his uh, new proposal. Our plan includes the following. Read faster, please, Mr. Trump. $800 million in urgent humanitarian assistance. $805 million for drug detection technology to help secure our ports of entry. Ports. An additional 2,000. He's got a coke problem. 750 we know that. border agents. But he's talking and slow for a guy who has coke. Professionals. 75 new immigration judge teams to reduce the court backlog of, believe it or not, almost 900,000 cases. However, the whole concept of having lengthy trials 
for anyone who sets one foot in our country well, words unlawfully time. must be changed by Congress. It is unsustainable. It is ridiculous. Few places in the world would even consider such an impossible nightmare. Our plan includes critical measures to protect migrant children from exploitation and abuse. This includes a new system Getting to R. allow Kelly out of Central the American minors to apply for asylum in their home countries and their home reform to promote family reunification for unaccompanied children, thousands of whom wind up on our border doorstep. Well, to physically basement. secure our border, the plan includes $5.7 billion dollars for a strategic repellent of physical barriers or a wall. This is not a 2,000 mile concrete structure from well, sea to sea. Why not? Why not? These are steel barriers in high priority locations. <laughs> More than four words at a time, we can handle it, Mr. Trump. But uh, everybody's screaming, <clears throat> you know. But how about the 11 to 20 million illegals already here? We're going to leave them. And he'd still be considered an asshole by the left. And uh, In other tweets, Trump singled out the leather-nippled crazy bitch from San Francisco, Nancy Pelosi, calling her a radical Democrat, blaming her for the condition of the streets of San Francisco, which is in her congressional district. I've been doing that since the show started. Uh, I'd like to play there, but I don't want to get hep C stepping on a fucking nail on the way to the fucking yuck, yuck hut. Uh, Trump called on Pelosi and Democrats to do the right thing for the country and allow people to go back to work. And um, naturally, this was the response from the Democrats. No, 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 not this fucking time. No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way, mate. No, 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 no. <laughs> Pelosi called Trump's proposal a non-starter. Do you really think this dumb broad is going to fucking outdo the greatest businessman, the guy who wrote the art of the deal? I don't. She, She's on home turf being in uh, D.C. her whole life. Uh, but we're in this mess because of her. She hasn't done anything for the last 50 years. Do you really think he's going to lose this? Sorry, I don't think he is. Yeah, and Brady's going to lose the Super Bowl. Please. So she said it's a non-starter. Uh, before Trump even unveiled the details. And media reports that would include a wall funding and protections for dream. He's given protections to dreamers and to temporary protected status, TPS recipients. The deal would also open, reopen swaths of the government that have been closed since late December. And uh, thank God for that, because I wanted to get to the uh, Smithsonian and see Lincoln's hat. Oh, what a fucking scam. You left-wing jerk-offs are buying this stuff. A number of Republicans were quick to praise the proposal. M Mitch McConnell, even without his chin, you know, you know, said he'd bring it up for a vote this week. Uh, Democratic leaders and rank and file members were just as quick to criticize Trump's plan, calling it a non-starter because that's what they were told to say by uh, the New York Times, NBC, CBS, ABC, wherever they get their talking points. Um, they said more hostage taking and non-serious. Uh, that would be your position, non-serious. The president's announcement also drew backlash from conservatives, including Ann Coulter. God bless her. She's not going to be happy unless there's a concrete barrier 150 feet high for 4,000 miles into the ocean. And I don't blame her. Fuck it. Uh, Mike Pence also pushed back against conservatives who likened Trump's plan to amnesty. He said, this is not amnesty. This is Pence talking, the wax museum guy. There's no pathway to citizenship. There's no permanent status here at all, which is what amnesty contemplates. And uh, it doesn't matter what he does. I mean, fuck, he's protecting Dak. He's, he's giving people protection. People whose green cards are up and shit, that's not enough. So fuck you. I don't care if there's nobody at the TSA. I, I love how they keep bringing that point up. Ooh, the TSA, their workout, you know, they're walking out of work. Uh, it's up to 10%. Yeah, nobody notices. I'd say it's safer if you fight them all, hired all the fucking McDonald's, Wendy's, and Arby's workers. It's the same quality of people. Don't forget the TSA. I don't want to, you know, mimic, I, I don't want to shit them too bad, but we, we know it's kabuki theater. Every couple of years, the federal government, the FBI, whoever tries to sneak guns in as a test, you know what the success rate was last time? 
98% of the fake guns they get through. So it's hardly a, it's hardly a crisis if they don't show up for work. No offense. All due respect. 833-599-NICK. 833-599-6425 is the phone number. He's trying. He's trying. And then you got the... Uh, super chat already? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Let it fly, fella. All right. We got CM Cross 1 saying, We can handle more than four words at a time, but don't forget the dims. I think they have trouble with that. What do you think? That might be a good point. Maybe he's slowing it down for the people who vote Democrat who are severely retarded. Nick, why would you do that? You're going to alienate half your comedy audience. I don't give a fuck. I was always for the truth anyways. So you're going to cut my crowds down from 200 to 100? Ooh! Hope I can afford bologna and dog food. I don't give a shit. That might be a good point. They are that severely retarded. And I'm going to bring up a few stories... Uh, later on that prove just how crooked I'm sure you all heard about the uh, the Covington High School Catholic school kids high school kids who were set upon by some old Native American Vietnam vet who's a political activist and he's he's been busted before for doing this he set upon them but somebody once again filmed it can I give you a tip out there when you see whether it's a fight at a McDonald's or whatever and 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 the white people, Suppose they're in the wrong. The first thing you should say is, wait a minute, what happened before the white people started doing wrong in this video? Because it looks like they're not doing anything wrong. We had a couple cases of that. This coffee's coming up. <sighs> Holy shit. Wow. Uh, that's what you should ask yourself. What happened before somebody turned the phone on? Because most of the times people don't turn the phone on until some shit goes down. But we'll debunk what the left did. They went wild. Celebrities weighed in. It was just a fucking sickening and a glaring case, once again, of uh, left-wing fascist fucking media bias. Only, the, you know, now it's the internet, so they're getting a hold of that. But uh, even some people on the left said to Pelosi, uh, you should agree with this deal. Even the Washington Post said that Trump was being fair and Mitt Romney, who I thought I liked... He actually said it's a, he's that Trump's dealing in good faith and that the Dems should go along with his deal. So that made me think twice. Fucking if Romney likes it. Nah. I told you, right? We broadcast live. Uh, we stream on uh, YouTube and Facebook today. Okay. We'll do it live. Yeah, we will, motherfuckers. No. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Yeah, why should any day be different? I want you? all of you to enjoy your cake. So, enjoy. Anyhow, the point is, uh, I don't believe in a million years that Pelosi is going to outsmart Trump in a deal. I just don't. Just the way I knew Tom Brady was going to rally. Two minutes left, three timeouts. It might have been a month and a half. He was like yawning on the bench. Uh Anyhow, get that call up there, Ryan. Let's go. Move it, move it, move it. I don't want to go into a new subject until, uh, because we get Owen Benjamin in a few minutes. Tell him to call in early if you want. Send him a note. I got some good ones, though. Basketball team quits. The uh, MLK tourney. This is a high school team. After their fans flaunt a Trump flag. Oh, my God. A bunch of white high schoolers brought a Trump flag to a basketball game against an all-black team. So now that's a faux pas. I haven't got, Caitlin, I haven't got to the Catholic school thing yet. So just hold on the line a minute. I'm caught in between. Let's play a fucking video. Hey, uh, Jay. the other half of the Trump thing. What's that, buddy? What? We have more of the uh, Trump. Oh, go ahead. In order to build the trust and goodwill necessary to begin real immigration reform, there are two more elements to my plan. Number one Kill Nancy Pelosi. is three years of legislative relief and for 700,000 DACA yeah. recipients brought here unlawfully by their parents here at a young age three many more years, years ago. Of relief. This extension will give them access to work permits, social security Lawns, numbers, pulls, and protection whackers. from deportation, deportation, most importantly. 
Secondly, our proposal provides a necktie a three that's shorter than 11 feet of temporary protected and status goggles or goggles when I get in a tanning bed. This means that 300,000 immigrants whose protected status is facing expiration will now have three more years of certainty so that Congress can work on a larger immigration deal, Fair which enough. everybody wants, Not Republicans ev and Democrats. Well, that's a lie. Not everybody wants it. It would be done by now. Pelosi doesn't want it. All the fucking childlike jerk-offs like Adam Schiff, who've been out to get you, uh, the former Obama administration people, they're not for any of this shit, Mr. Trump. They want you out, out, out. Doesn't matter what you propose. So he took this on. Remember he said when he had that meeting with Chuck Schumer and Nancy in the uh, Oval Office or whatever, the left wing, right wing, uh, and, and he said, I will gladly carry the mantle of the shutdown. Well, he owns it. And I still think he's going to fucking win on it. But another part of me, if I was Trump, I'd go, okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm opening the government. No deal. And I don't want to hear the next time your kids OD on fucking heroin. I don't want to hear about the next time one of your kids is killed by a drunk driver from Honduras who's been in the country six minutes. I don't want to hear about rapes and uh, sex abuse at the border. Okay? I'm going to leave it as is. is. Wouldn't that be, that's what I'd do. I'd fucking lose my shit. He is mentally the toughest bastard I think that's ever sat in the, the slings and arrows that this guy has taken since he's taken over is just unbelievable. But that sounds like a fair deal. I don't care if you're a Trump fan or not. I mean, there's some, a lot of, the, most of that shit, Democrats already voted for in the past. <clears throat> it's just more proof that they, 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 they don't, if they let him win on this, there's a chance. This is all about 2020. You know that. So, ooh, Kamala Harris announced she's going to run. That's a that's a wet dream for Democrats because she hates men and white people. You can't get better than that. Come on, Ryan, get that fucking next caller up. What are you doing? Trying to pick him up? <laughs> get a name. Get a subject. Jason, grab that headset. <laughs> Ryan's getting upset. <laughs> uh, I got four minutes. I can't. Yeah. <sighs> um, let's talk about Owen Benjamin, my friend. He he should be on the line in a few. Correct? Should be calling him by now, right? Okay. <laughs> it can be on air. It's the beauty of the show, Ryan. You can say whatever. We, uh, oh, I'm getting chest pains. Is that a bad sign? I've had about 11 cigarettes and I'd say six cups of coffee. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm turning to the people I used to make fun of. I was sitting on the fucking sidewalk outside of a, a comedy club and there was a lady across the street. It's like 10 degrees. She's sitting on her steps and, I, and she's lighting up a cigarette and I go, look at this douchebag freezing herself to smoke a cigarette. As I was saying that, I was reaching into my pocket for a cigarette. That's how I know I'm still new at this. I forgot I was a smoker for a few seconds. Uh, let me take Kyle real quick, uh, line two. Kyle, we're off subject, but go ahead. I'll let you go real quick. Hey, Nick Apollo, how are you? Good. Let's go, let's hey, go. Man. I'm in a hurry, let's go. What? I got callers, let's, I got a guest calling in. Sadaka's angry nephew. What? All right, well then take me after, bud. No, I'm taking Jeez. you now. Make your point, shithead. Bye-bye. Nice try. Jesus Christ. Hi, how are you? I just said on the air, I, I fucking, I'm crunched for time here. You don't start with, hi, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. Call back, Kyle. I took you anyways, even though we were off topic. Uh, let's go to Caitlin. She's going to talk about, what's that, buddy? You got him? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us right now, Ryan. Yeah? We good? Okay. <laughs> uh, buddy, one of the funniest out there, uh, brilliantly smart, uh, controversial. You know, he's on the right side of the fight. They chased him to Washington State. He's got a, a new special out that he shot in Vegas, uh, Conspiracy Queries. And uh, he's, a, he's a real funny. Can we play a clip of the uh, from his special, Jason? Before I bring uh, a buddy Owen on. Sweet. 
One thing that I noticed happened to me is ever since having uh, children, I, uh, I stopped watching pornography because I read that it's really bad for your brain. It just, you know, and I felt like it makes you kind of narcissistic and being on the road a lot. I have a lot of free time. And also, I just feel weird with kids in the house looking at porn. It just makes it way too real. Like, if you're looking at porn, you're like, there's, there's literally children in the, in the home right now. Like, I just read Hungry Caterpillar, and now I'm looking at a different Hungry Caterpillar. <laughs> hungry Caterpillar. Why the music over the clip? Can we pull? Uh, can we pull up Owen, please, fellas? <laughs> yes, there, handsome son of a bitch. Look at him. <laughs> What's up? What's How are you, man? Hey, first of all, let me congratulate. I know you had a baby this summer. Yeah, we just had a second. We got a two and a half year old, and then a little guy, Charlie. Yeah, we're uh, we're making life. I'm making life with my ween. Ch ch <laughs> you know, well, you're not jerking off anymore from that clip. I guess uh, this is going to change everything. <laughs> So, so Charlie is the new baby. Yeah, Charlie and Walter. Yeah. Oh, little, yeah. little boys. Now I don't want to. I don't want to say anything, but that sounds like two old men, Charlie and Walter. I know. I want to. I was like so. <laughs> I was so inundated by all the new, the new age names. Like, this is Clementine. He's a boy, you know. And I'm like Walter. I, I wanted to go Wolfgang, but Amy was oh. like, Yeah, like Wolfgang. That's but a, that's all. That's a yeah, great strong. name. Yeah, uh, next one I think might be Wolfgang. It's so it's just so strong. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't go with Josh and 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 no. those are all the, the like you said the newfangled ones. Joe Matarese had a kid a few years ago. Joe Matarese. Yeah. And I said he does a bit about it. I said you have to name his name him Rocco. Rocco Matarese. Is that That's not powerful. a Is that not a heavyweight champion from the fucking 50s or It's Dude, my, he could be he could be three feet tall and 500 pounds. I'm like, I'm not fighting Rocco Matarese. <laughs> Is that not the best? <laughs> and his wife made him go with the, uh, oh, shit. It was something worse than Joshua. All yeah, right. Rocco, an Italian last name. There's a, a quarterback in Utica when I was playing in high school. His name was Ro uh, Rocco Carigliano, and I'll always, rem <laughs> I'll always remember it. Just I played him one time, and I was like, that is a great name. There's a guy now, I think, at Michigan State, Rocco Lombardi. Blonde, Perfect. Rocky Lombardi, blonde hair, blue eyes, by the way. But anyways, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, to you and the wife. So you shot the special, uh, Owen, in, in Vegas. Why would you pick Vegas? Well, it was the last stop on the tour, and it just kind of made sense. And um, we were doing this whole tour, and every city we were in, we are kind of looking into what the conspiracy theory was in the city, like Denver with the Satan horse, oh. and New Mexico with aliens and stuff. And we started uh, looking into all this stuff, and then by the end, we just went, we did Vegas, and then we went, I, we just had all this material, and I didn't name it till after I started editing it, and I'm like, you know, because everyone says conspiracy theor theories. It's like, what about queries? Right. What's wrong with just like asking what's up? You know, it's like white supremacists. What about white enthusiast? <laughs> you know, it's like, I because my dad taught how to do this. Like, this is all rhetoric. Like, th th this word play. Yes. And so I'm like, yeah, we can all play ball, man. I can, I can make up fake words. Come yes. on. Like, cisgendered heteronormative behavior. Like, buddy, we can all play the game. I'm a white enthusiast. So the, now you're gonna yeah the, now they have to spend three months figuring that one out you know it's hilarious. <laughs> well the, now the Vegas the conspiracy there are you basing it like on the shooting? Well I talked about that. I, well, one of the whole things was like how people just stop asking questions for some reason like they're almost like traumatized. Where I'm like, oh yeah, I mean a guy pulled off 500 rounds you know top six fours owned by a Saudi prince you know girlfriend cruises to Philippines no motivation. Yeah, you know, it's best just we walk away from this one. So what did Trump <laughs> tweet today? And the more and the more you like show that to people, it's like the world is full of actual like our 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 country was founded on a conspiracy. But yet we won't which I'm glad we did, obviously, but it's like, you know, a bunch of dudes got together and overthrew the British government with a secret plan. It's like that's our whole history. What was the conspiracy though? Of the of the shooting? No, uh, of uh, the us overthrow. Not, conspiracy isn't bad. It mean it just means a secret, like secret knowledge, a like secret a plan. plan. That other people right. don't know. Yeah. I wish my yeah. age. I wish my agent had one. I wouldn't be sitting in my fucking basement talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, hilarious. So you have you have a whole theme uh, to the tour, and see, I I don't tie it all in. I just 
I, I do my sets every week and I go, this seems like a good hour. I put it together and I landed at Cohoes Hall in Cohoes, New York. It is, but, but I, I go against the grain. I'm going to call it a breath of fresh air. So oh, that's great. No, so. you're, you're one of my favorite comics, dude. You're, you're still holding a, holding a torch in a, in a, in a, a industry where it's just insane that the, the kneeling that you watch. Yeah, and like, and I was also touring with the, my openers, one of my best friends, but he's black. But in black, he's oh, no! I know, I'm not happy about it either. But it's like <laughs> they have a whole different set of conspiracies, and that was a whole theme we had. Where you know, I was talking about the Vegas shooting. He's like, yeah, I don't really listen to country music, and, and it's not really my genre. And I, I laughed. And then later, he was talking about um, uh, Katrina, and they're like, yeah, people heard explosions, like they flooded neighborhoods. I'm like. Not really my genre, buddy, but I'm sure it was a good decision if someone had to do that, you know. And we're talking about how, you know, and how the reason that black people all vote for a uh, vote for a uh, Democrat is is I don't want to say the word on here, but but he was like everybody knows Hillary kills, the, and then the hard end, yeah, and, yes. and, and then you realize that she's almost like the the Suge Knight of politics, where <laughs> it's and she even dresses like Suge Knight, and it's not that black people like Democrats; they're like. Oh, dude, she'll cut you. We got to, you know. That's and I'm right. Like, that's that's so funny to me. Like, it's a whole different way of looking at it, where it's like, they're just respecting the, the body count on that lady. Yeah, you're exactly. And they think the same about Pelosi being a badass. And Pelosi is like Suge Knight, too, because I heard a story. She held uh, Ocasio-Cortez, dangled her off a balcony of a hotel. Really? And, yeah. Was it for math money? Yeah, made her sign a thing saying that she wouldn't, uh, <laughs> you know, take over as the House Speaker. I believe that. I mean, Cortez looks like a meth. Ad. She's all methed out. She's cranked. She, you know, she she keeps saying she's from the Bronx or whatever the fuck. She grew up the town that touches my town, which is literally the whitest town in the nation. She Westchester County. She's so full of shit. Oh well, they all they all are. But she's almost like she's so awful that she almost is pulling what Trump pulled on. She's almost like tricking conservatives into spiraling and promoting her. It's kind of yes. She's kind of yeah. She's like she's. Because, I, I, you know, you turn on, like, Daily Wire and stuff, it's like, I mean, really, Cortez? And then <laughs> she responds, and then all her fans are like, yeah, take down evil Ben Shapiro. And I'm like, she might know what she's doing. She's pulling a Trump. <laughs> you know, Trump would be like, I'll build a wall to the moon. And the left would be like, w what is this? And the right's just like, I mean, I know that's crazy, but, I mean, that would be awesome, though, right? That's <laughs> you know. That's exa that's a great theory, and she would be as famous as Trump if the media was one tenth conservative as it is, you know, uh, liberal. If they, oh, I mean, the, the right? media is so off off the off the chains, man. It's like the, that that whole like uh, Catholic kid thing that just came out. I was going to ask you about that next. What's your take on that? Well, my take is I don't even know why people think it's an accident. Like I was listening to like Scott Adams. He's like, I'm sorry. I mean, I guess CNN misreported. It's like misreported i know they it's, still don't get it they don't get it they're always they still like, don't oh, get they, it they didn't do their due diligence but i'm like <laughs> dude it's it's literally cia mind stuff yes it, and that, that and people are like you're a conspiracy theorist i'm like ah, operation mockingbird what's your source cia.gov <laughs> it's like <laughs> they get talking points to tell you and the thing that makes it extra tricky is sometimes yeah. it's true it doesn't matter if it's true or false they're pushing a narrative for a very specific reason, and people just are like, well, I mean, the reporting could have used some work. They might have a bias. I'm like, they don't have a political bias. They have a power bias. Right. They'd like Trump like that if it fit their narrative. Like, they, pe people don't understand the nature of evil. It's psychotic. We, we, but here's the thing. The right seems to be on to this. We, we know their tricks now, yet they, yeah. we still don't know how to, we can point them out. Yeah. Like the race thing for the last <laughs> right, right, right. We, so we can point yeah. them out, but we don't have an answer. For the for the yeah. race thing, you're a bigot. Like you said, you have to fight fire with fire. Start calling them bigots and racists, and but they still have uh, 99 of the 100 blowhorns. They have, you know, the well, paper. This is what you need. You so, got to you got to grow a mustache, which I just did. <laughs> and then, well, no, but see, like the whole game, like calling them a bigot doesn't work at all. It's all about what they value. Like when I was a heckler at a Renaissance fair in high school, like I learned that the best way to just humiliate i'm sure you know this because you're just italian and aggressive and hilarious <laughs> but like you go after what someone has pride in you know so if they go you're a racist you're a bigot you know it's all the stuff they say to us and the right is so based in fairness that we're like no the fastest black guy's captain like no don't you know they don't think like that so if we call them bigot racist homophobe they're like right. no we we save right. the blacks like you got to 
the lack of shame and lack of like, don't ever apologize when you're not sorry. Like that's the stuff that kills them and just start your own thing. You know, that's why I think sometimes people get so pissed about Jews is because they're jealous of the game plan. Oh, it's Christ, like, yeah. I've been saying it forever. Dude, it's like you, they're like, yeah, I mean, they're only shopping at Jewish delis. I'm like, smart. They're like, Israel. I'm like, I want an Israel. You know, it's like, it's like, yeah, instead of kosher, call it brochure and just hook up your buddies. Like, that's, that works. I, I lose and, it. I get too emotional. I get in an argument. I always say, you motherless fuck. And that doesn't even bother them. That's how shameless they are. And, no, no, because they're like, yeah, I had two fathers. And they, no, exactly. What's wrong with that, Nick? Well, yeah, because the things that we value, they don't value. So if we call them hypocrite, we call them you know, whatever. Right. They're like, yeah, you know, I, my truth is I'm a unicorn. Like, it doesn't work. And I'm watching all these smart conservatives just – sometimes I'm like, are they part of this or are I, they really I know. not see this? Yeah. I, I am on the same page, man. Even the smart – that's – and sometimes I go – we're always chasing them, whether it's trying to bust Hillary. I mean, everybody's held accountable on the right, but like nobody's holding a Hillary account. And I go, are they just, is, is it that the, the legal system is, you know, 90% Democrats, uh, the judges, everything? Why, why are we always chasing them? Are they just it's, smarter it's than culture. us? It's, it's culture. It's because, well, A, it's almost like in Vietnam, like as much as, as, as crazy as we were in Vietnam, they were way more ruthless. Like, and it's like the man in the black pajamas can take down the biggest army in the world if they're just, it's really. Oh, you have there? No, yeah, no, but oh. the, all those like little Viet Cong guys, you know, they had like a knife and, and like bamboo and they're winning and people are like, how? They're like, because they'll literally kill a baby to like make a point. Well, so you are know? Democrats. That's what I mean. Like they don't, <laughs> but see, the problem they is they babies. have no friends. They have no friends. They eat each other because they're all just sick animals. But it's like, they don't have any morality, so that sets them free to acquire power, but then once they get it, they eat themselves. It's a cycle as old well, as time. Well, I hope that's true, that the Dems eat each other. And if that's going to be the case, I'd like to see uh, Alyssa Milano versus uh, Charlize Theron. Well, if, if, if they're going to eat any, each other. <laughs> if any right-wing people take any of these things seriously anymore, after, like, CN CNN literally will report, they're like, we have absolute proof that Donald Trump Set a hard end and then killed a trans person and then, <laughs> hard and, end. you know, and, and everyone's like, he will be impeached by morning. And then they're like, yeah, no, we don't have any of it. But it's and people are just like, oh, we'll get him next time. And I'm like, dude, if, if you're on board that you're just you're, you're kind of dead weight. Like Yuri Bezmenov. You ever watch those videos? The KGB guy? No. Oh, dude, dude, you're going to love this. What's the guy's name? Yuri Bezmenov, it's it's early 1980s. It's this like leg, legend, this KGB R Russian who defected to America, told us the entire game plan for two hours. All of it happened, and it's it makes perfect sense. He's like, we make you hate yourself. We make movies, and he's like, it is not uh, 007. It is, we make movies where you, we depict your president as sodomite, but proud and dev like. He's like talking about subverting a nation. He's like, so he's like, are you saying, like, and the Democrats are following that game plan? Yeah. And he was laughing. To a and he's like, oh yeah. He's like, we, we, we go for the academics, people with ego, people with influence, people, we give them vodka, we drink water, we give them caviar. We say, you are so smart. And then they, and then they tell everybody to go uh, towards the left. And then when we get power. Uh, we dispose them because what person would turn on their own nation? Those like are, they have no value. Those, like that's the thing. They do, hate leftists. But do we do we do we need the Russians? Don't we do that ourselves? Well, that's what I mean. They were planting some of these seeds that are just still going. It's like they did like so much of the hippie movement was by design. Yuri was in India. He was like, I was convincing men to do yoga, smoke hashish, be open minded. <laughs> Like that was their game plan because if you're open minded, yeah, dude, because he was like, we want people to not know who they are or what they are because then they just come in because it's the males that protect right. women and children. The right. women, if women don't have alpha males, they'll go with anybody with strength. And that's what everyone's trying to do now is they're a masculine. They're making every dude like Pete Holmes in yoga pants. Yeah. And like everybody's like, oh, I, you know, I, so me too. Yeah. And so women's nature is to be like, okay, well, I'm now wicked vulnerable. Yeah. That 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 crazy caliphate now sounds like a good idea. It's like it's crazy. Yeah, they either run to the crazy caliphate or they start dating Terrell Suggs. 
<laughs> That's where the, <laughs> the, plan, the plan is working beautifully. Let me ask you, uh, because we're talking to the great Owen Benjamin, because uh, I, I know you've gotten in trouble, uh, you know, because you're, you're you're a smart, controversial guy. You don't do it intentionally. You call things as they see them. I wanted to get your take on Louis C.K.'s comeback and uh, just where this, I'm not feeling it. Everybody's like, comedy's dead. You fuck. I've been doing this 30 something years. Luckily, I chose a side 25 years ago. So finally, after 30 years, it took me one seat at a time. But when the people come out to see me, they know what's coming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm sure no, that's going to get not dead. No, I mean, that, dude, I mean, dude, I'm selling more tickets than I ever have. And they didn't mention really? me in that article. Yeah. I, I, comedy's so not dead. It's laughable. Right. What's dead is being able to get booked in a lot of these places. Like I'm, I'm blackballed from a bunch of clubs for literally no reason is like, well, you don't want to play just, clubs anyways. No. And no, but that's, a, that's the thing about the left that they don't understand is they corner you into like becoming a like lethal. Right. Like I wouldn't have right. thought of any of this stuff if I didn't have to, if I didn't have kids and stuff. I, so what you just talked about, even just the concept of getting in trouble, like I don't feel that anymore. Like when it's like, Oh, like in trouble with who? Like little dude, I brought back the word sodomite. Cause it, cause they, they're like, Oh, you can't, I, I won't say the word, but the derogatory word that we call everybody that was just kind of weak dudes. It was like a word we used. Yeah, hard F. I'm just doing this because I don't know where this is playing. I don't think the word's bad at all, but yeah, it's a, a bundle fuck. of sticks. It, you talk oh, sweet, 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 sweet. You're talking right, to me. So, like, so, so this is how the how it backfires. It's like I'm like, oh, that dude's being a fag, and someone's like, oh, you can't say that. It's homophobic. And I'm like, no, no, you can be a straight fag. And they're like, do not say that. So I'm like, okay, so I'll be hyper specific. Sodomite. And and now that word is like. It's not a, a, derog a, 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 a derogatory <laughs> word. It's so specific. Right. And it's like, it makes it like just about gay people now. And I'm like, you shouldn't have fought that. Who came? But, like, but who says that to you, uh, Owen? Who says that to you? Oh, you can't say that word. Is, is it a no, nobody man anymore. Nobody anymore. They, I've, they, I've never. No one's ever. I've No one's ever <laughs> told me ever. Maybe I say it with such hate in my face, or I've always, you know, they know I'm not fucking playing. I'm using it in a joke. No one's ever, except for that girl that sucker punched me, and she didn't say, That's she didn't awesome. verbally dress me down. But I've never, I got in trouble for smoking on stage. I, uh, um, but no one's ever, no one, uh, no club manager or no, no audience member says you can't say that again. Maybe it's because I've been around forever. Well, um, and you don't show sh shame, which is how they make you do it. You know, like yeah. if you're just, if you're the type of guy that would back down. They do it. And for me, it was just that I was at like CAA and like would have these development deals and stuff. Uh, so these guys would be like, oh, you know, like we need you, you know, this is Disney. So we can't, I'm like, didn't that dude like bang a kid? And they're like, whoa, <laughs> dude, dude. And I'm like, no, but seriously, I'm pretty sure Walt Disney like banged a kid. I'm like, is that, is that true? You, and they're like, you just explained it perfectly to me. Why no one's ever said that to me. I've never really had a fucking deal or anything to lose. <laughs> right. Right. But see, I, that's why I'm like, take your deals, man. Like I, mm. I, the, the irony is they keep setting me p people like us free where well, they're like, Oh, you're not allowed here anymore. I'm like, Oh, Oh no. Now I have to m make friends of like actual men and, ha and like, <laughs> you know, like my best friends on my street, they're like a truck driver and a cop. I'm like, I don't want to hang out with movie stars. They're like high needs, like weirdos. I got, I got banned from one of the best clubs in the country, the Denver comedy works. I did it once, oh, yeah, went, yeah. Back, went back a second time. And, uh, you know, 10 minutes into the show, there's a bachelorette party ruining the fucking feature acts. Uh, and then I get yeah. up there, they start yelling shit out. And I said, can we have these fat thrown the fuck out right now? And yeah. it turns out the place was run by a fat and And yep. uh, she never had me back. That, yeah, but see, they're doing you a favor. They're like, we're going to kick you out of prison. <laughs> you know, it's like, like, take Denver. Take Denver, for example. I, like, I was forced to play in, like, a children's museum because they're so... <laughs> They're so like progressive doubt that yeah. I have to like rent places under different names and stuff. It's like a speakeasy. Yeah. And meanwhile, they made it legal for people to shit in the street there. But yes. dogs can't. Okay. So like, like here's a conspiracy that's true. That's crazy. The Denver airport, there's this giant horse that looks like Satan, right? Yeah. And I know what you're this, talking about. Yeah. Yeah. This giant Satan horse with red eyes. And so I was like talking to somebody about it. I'm like, yeah, this is big Satan horse. It's, it, I think it's demonic. And they're like, well, no, it isn't. It's called art. Why don't you ask the the creator? And I'm like, interesting story. The horse killed the guy who made it. Like, 
<laughs> the sculptor making the horse. What? The horse. I swear to God, dude, look at. Is the guy trying to blow it or something? No, it's it's literally demonic. Like so, the sculptor's making the horse. It falls on the guy. You can't kills me. him. They wipe off the blood. They put it in the Denver airport. And then, but I'm the bad guy. I got to be at a museum. Why doesn't that happen when they're tearing down white statues? Oh, because we. we why wouldn't? It, why, why does it ever fall on one of these Antifa kids and crush them? And then we can put it in the body. We're it's slow on reacting because we're trying to figure out if it's <laughs> logically accurate. Right. Like we're like, okay, so. Logically, and meanwhile, they're like, we just tore down another one. And we're like, okay, so, and, and that's why I'm 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 now proactive because I'm like, yeah, you got like, for example, like the, like those Catholic kids where they're like, where they're like, oh, well, it turns out that the that the Native Americans were saying that Donald Trump's a faggot, and the and the white kids were like defending down like gay people. So, and I'm like, wait a minute, Donald Trump's no faggot, you know? Like, I'm not playing any of that. I'm not gonna make make it like. Oh, so the white kids were the good kids, right? Because right. He, he they defended gays. Yeah, it's like no, you don't say that about my president. He doesn't take it in the ass. No, you know. And then the like, last one did. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's huge. I like, mean, I read many stories about bathhouses. Oh, he's as gay as the day is long. He like, is, can, isn't he? You can see it in his eyes. Yeah, because he, he's got to have a vice to lie that much. Like that, you know, the devil's got to get you somehow. <laughs> you know. And so you look at him and you're like, okay, you don't drink, you don't, you don't have chicks. Like, what is it? It's like secret gay shit. Fact. Like, you know, it's so, it's so obvious. Yeah, I, I read many things in that guy, uh, anyways. But uh, all right, I don't have anything else for you. Anything else? Uh, you no, to- dude, just keep rocking, man. Because comedy's not dead. Like the people saying comedy is dead are retarded. Like they're, they don't. You can't kill comedy. It's coming that, alive. Like, if anything, it's coming alive. Right, I mean, we're right. we're leading the. Well, that's that's the whole point. It's almost like it's it's exciting. It's almost like all the institutions of comedy are failing, and it's like Forrest Gump, where all the other ships are destroyed, and it's just me and you as ships. <laughs> it's like if you just got to get around their institutional control of like clubs and media and shit. But we are. It's like people follow you. Well. Thank God for this technology and podcast and all that shit came around at the at the right time and and uh, yeah I was thrilled I, I mean I, I I get fired for a tweet from a radio show and I had a black eye all within like two months I go I must be saying doing something right yeah you survived it like yeah. whenever people go through that now I'm like don't see it as an attack see it as a test it's like if you survive you get more like status and you're funnier. That's right. It's like, it's so true. It's like, these aren't like normal attacks, like what men would used to do to other men where it weakens you somehow. It's like, <laughs> this is an attack where if you survive, you get a promotion. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's it's a like, good way of looking at it. it. Yeah, yeah, because they don't respect you for it. No. Are you kidding me? Like, I'll, I'll like call out certain shit. Like, I'll be like, yeah, what are the Jews up to? And like, my Israeli friends are just like, that was hilarious. And all these like white pro- progressives are like, you can't say that. I'm like, Weird how the Jews are laughing, you know, because they respect people <laughs> that just I'm, call stuff. Dude, self hate is like the grossest thing for anybody. Right. Like I like Farrakhan's a psychopath, but I'll take him over Don Lemon. No, I know. Yeah. I know. Like I, at least, yeah. I like said, Farrakhan's awful, but he's like he thinks that white people are like invented on an island, you know. But I'm, I'm like at least he likes black people. He's black. <laughs> Don Lemon wants to just get pounded by a white guy, and he hates everybody. I'm not. Stop it. I'm doing Farrakhan. Stop it. I'm not anti Semite. I'm Um, anti Termite. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Yeah, It's it's all rhythm for those guys. Like, you could be like, ah, and here today. And everyone's like, go on, brother Farrakhan, go on. He's like, a bottle, a glass of water. He's like, ooh, glass of water, glass of water. He's like, preach, preach. Yeah, yeah. There's there's no, like, they, they can have no substance, and people are just like, Yes, well, that's how Jesse Jackson lasted, you know, and they, they all took a fucking note from Ali and, and ran with it. Yeah, and um, Martin Luther King Jr. that I have a scheme speech. We'll get to that another time. I know you gotta go. <laughs> that's why I love this fucking guy. I don't. I really don't have to go, but I, uh, you know, I I gotta get to these. Sto- I haven't touched the stories yet. I want to get it going. I want to. I want to get it going and 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 get after that. Native American guy who I saw in a litter litter commercial. Dude, go uh, after ago. it. Yeah, it's like we could talk for hours, but I'm starting to understand. Uh, you know, like I'll seriously stream for like four and a half hours, and and I I'm like, this is great, but I'm like, is my audience psychopaths like me? Probably not. 
So, all right. So, uh, thanks for having me, my friend. Hey, uh, go. You got to go see Owen Benjamin live. And he's a brilliant, and he plays the piano. He's a musician, and his latest uh, special is Conspiracy Queries. And yeah. uh, tell them where they can get it. Where yes, can- it's uh, hugepianist.com because comedycentral.com is run by only pro sodomy comedy. So, huge, <laughs> hugepianist.com. <laughs> all right, guys. You, you guys kick ass. Thanks, Owen. Appreciate it, buddy. Later. All right. The great Owen Benjamin, man. Smart, funny, and I bet it's, it's got to be a great special. I, uh, I'm i behind. I don't watch a lot of... Uh, Rogan's got one out there now, too. I do, and I don't do that out of disrespect. I like to stay focused, and you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, my friends... I see comics get into a show early to watch other comics. I go, if you were fucking working in a machine shop, and you get there an hour early watching the guy weld what you're going to do for the next eight hours? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, he's always uh, interesting and... Here's a guy on a treadmill. I don't know if this is real hair or not. I'm having an argument with my wife. I think the... They catch on... Rick Voss. I think it's real hair. My wife says it's a hair piece. I don't know. He's got one on his shoulder, too. Being beaten to death by his own. <laughs> Does he know? <laughs> I'm sure that's been around, but it's still funny. Let's close it out with a, a video that, because uh, I like to end the show and I. A upbeat note with the, with some love, and it can't all be a. Want to see a cute little Chinese kid, who's uh, multi talented Look at this kid, six years old. <laughs> you don't have any of that music. <laughs> that music. <laughs> six years old. <laughs> I love this little kid. Unbelievable. Why is he wearing a winter coat inside? I would let that kid do some manscaping on me. That'd probably be illegal. But uh, that was a stupid thing to say, Nick, actually. Look at then he then he fixes his own. Do you not love that kid, Ryan? He's better. He's better at that than any of us are at anything at age six. Can you imagine? Would you let him cut your hair, Ryan? Oh hell yeah. I mean, just because of his hair cutting style, not because he was cute. I take his style. <laughs> I think he'd make me look good. He would make you look. Good. Do you see his haircut? He's six years old. Now that kid's either gonna be end up being the greatest. Here, stylist ever, or the, you know, he's going to hang himself in four years. I hope, I hope it's not the latter. Anyways, that's all. <laughs> he's got the Mo Howard. He gave himself the Mo Howard. And uh, what a cute, smart little bass. I don't know why he's wrapped in tinfoil, but. Uh... All right, that is it. Remember, you, uh, you think it, I will say it. You are very welcome. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.